So good night, everyone. So before we will uh, proceed to the proper discussion, we will have a motivational activity. So we have here the title of the game, Draw on My Back. So the mechanics of this game, the presenters will divide the group by the class into two groups, group one then group two. And the two groups will select three participants to play the game. So pag select the of the participants here. Three participants from each group. So we have Miss Bohol, Mrs. Diaz, and Miss Miss Arundina. Yes. And on the other side, wala pa so yeah participation for thirty percent. <laughs> so, kanina game mo na siya, message relay. Pero, you have to draw on the back end. Uh, first, di ba? First, first, uh, first, first, uh, 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 first,
1947. So he was born at Manila, Philippines, and his pen name is Dolph Veglayan, which means or derived from the words Dab, Eagle, and Lion. So the um, reason I knew why because kung makita niyo sa iyang uh, mga works na ano yung mga animal representative, especially dog, eagle, and lion. And he is a coma poet. So when we say coma poet, he introduced this poetry na panagalik, that the word is na ay coma. So muna, yan kita, itawag siya o coma poet. So here we have Manila, Philippines, which he was born in Manila. Um, this city of Manila, Lungsod of Manila, is located at the eastern shore of Manila Bay on the lawn, the country's largest island. So let's proceed to the poem itself, which um, will be presented by Miss um, Sir Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so good morning, everyone. So this is the poem that is written by Jose Garcia Villa, which is entitled, God Said I Made Man. So all together, let us read the poem. God said I made a man out of clay, but so bright he, he spun himself the brightest day, till he was shining gold, and oh, he was lovely to behold, but in his hands held the abu, aimed at me who created him, and I said, Murder me. Who am I, thy fucking head? Then spoke he to man of gold. I will not murder thee. I do what measures thee. God still, in good spirit, further asked, the creation who it is, 
to which the man answered, Sir Genius. The last line of the poem reminds us that indeed the stupidity of the man thought of as great genius would be its downfall. In this relation, when viewed in the current world pandemic, one would see that what happens when man imitates life. One man imitates the acts of God. When he tramples the nature and law and most of all disrespect human humanity, greed and just for both knowledge and power has brought us in this catastrophic human condition that consumes the very heart and soul of humanity. Villiers' exploration of this, of this theme invites readers to contemplate their own existence and place in the universe, prompting reflection on the divine purpose behind human creation. The poem's concise yet evocative style leaves a lasting impression, inviting interpretation and intro introspection. Overall, God Zen and Miniman offers a poetic meditation on the profound mystery of life and divine forces that shape it. So, um, the whole uh, explanation of this poem is that when people act like God, like a lot of like um, people who were challenging God and were trying to question God, um, unfortunately, some of them lose their life or lives or um, face um, harmful circumstances that they have. Uh, um, encountered, like for example, the creator of the the one who made the Titanic, he was very boastful that he said that not even God could sink the ship. He was questioning God's power, and with siguro nakahuwan si God niya ana niya gitas mo kung sa Titanic because he said that the Titanic was an unsinkable ship back in the days. So like, from that um. Story, uh, we should never question um, the existence and the power of God because God is God and we are just simple human beings living on this earth. Thank you so much. I think we have a poem, so let's proceed to the literary analysis. So we have here the theme, the theory, and title poetry. So as we all know, the theme is the what is the story all about, or is it the central idea? So the theme here is ungrateful, ungratefulness. As Ruby said, um, it is the ungratefulness of a man that he challenges our Creator, who is God. And it is very um, common nowadays, we're, uh, very rough as I see that everyone here, or um, some are very ungrateful to God, or they want to challenge God. And, God and they want uh, to be beyond of God. Then we have here the POV, the first person and the third person, and the type of poetry that we have is three verse. So that's all for our day.